winning a good looking suave contemporary Māori show band or a brat pack <laughs> with a worldwide tour and a debut single from the upcoming album to tell us all about please welcome to the cafe Maka, Francis, James and Matariki. Yes! Kia ora boys, great to have you on the show. Thank you. Thank this you is nice. quite an honour and who and have Coco. we got here? Coco. How are you Coco, you good? Yeah. yeah, nice. Good. <laughs> the prettiest one in the band. Yeah, yeah <laughs> You guys, yeah, yeah. obviously, yeah, you've got the prettiest one here with you, but you guys have been together for about five years now, and you're all actors, and you've all acted in some pretty big movies too, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. This is your sideline, or is this your full line? Which one, which one comes first? It began as our sideline, and uh, now it's our full time. Is this the way that jobbing actors find extra work? Totally, yeah. Coming out of, we, all, we all graduated from Toifakari Drama School down Wellington and coming out of the school there wasn't much work and uh, mm. this year came about uh, what we do in between acting gigs and now it's like when do we fit in acting gigs? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and Francis, awesome. you know, is, when you were at the school were you singing then as a group? Was that part no, of the No, no, we, we all graduated in different years. Right. Uh, myself and Maka probably mm. like 2003 I think we graduated and mm. you know, maybe five years later these guys and, so what was the connection? I mean, how did you all get together? We all met at acting parties. And then the guitar would come out and then uh, James just decided, hey, look, we might as well make something out of this and, and, uh, and turn it into something. That's and it's turned into something yeah. brilliant. Matariki, what do you think makes the modern Māori quartet work so well? Um, well, I, you know, I mean, we, we, we're singers and, and we're musers and, and that's, that's great. But I think um, our live show is, is something that's like a point of difference, I suppose. Because we're performers and like with an audience, we're really about interacting with an audience. We're not going to stand there and do a gig and the audience come and watch us. It's about like, what's the conversation that we can have between ourselves? And yeah, so every gig's really, really different. Yeah, you guys have also played at some pretty cool places around the world. I was just reading about how you've been to Uzbekistan. <laughs> Francis, tell us a bit about that. I mean, how on earth did you end up? <laughs> was in well, actually, actually, I was the only guy that didn't go. <laughs> <on the show. laughs> Francis, so, uh, that was wonderful. Maka, you tell Great us about Uzbekistan. Um, that was a that was a crazy time. A um, tour without, without yeah, Francis. Uh, we had to actually uh, look on the map, world map, to see where it was. And yes, um, we got our, our friend Jamie McCaskill came in to go on tour. It was like a huge, like a. Uh, like a world indigenous folk music festival. How on earth did you end up there? Um, because we sung a, a, a Mandarin song at the uh, at the Lantern Festival, the Chinese Lantern Festival here in Auckland, and we got scouted. So yeah, we were superstars there. Yeah. Seriously, <laughs> yeah. we couldn't go anywhere without girls crying. I got marriage <laughs> proposals. Mm. Really? really nice. Like Quite serious cool. ones. Like, like I heard they were actually chasing you onto the bus. Yeah, yeah. and chasing us um, on the train uh, when we were leaving. Yeah. Yeah, real stink stories. Guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Francis is at home. So then, you, so then you come back and then you, you're not getting the chasing in New Zealand. Was that a little bit tough for you, Matariki? Yeah, yeah, well, it was. It was, it was <laughs> oh, you must get chased <laughs> now, Smash back to reality, yeah. you know, coming back home and, like, no one cares who you are, let alone knows who you are. Oh, no, no, I'm sure you'll do fine in that department. OK, um, <laughs> let's talk about this new album. You've got a single out at the moment, which is dropping tomorrow, and then the album's coming out towards the end of the year. How hard was it to put together an album of originals when you're used to, I guess, doing a lot of covers? How hard was that? Yeah, I think it's it's always a challenge, but um, the beauty about it is that the process and how we created it, it had a really strong kaupapa. We uh, took it back to our, our hometowns, we went to Matariki's farm and Coromandel, went to Taniato and Fakatani, and um, it's just an album with a whole lot of love. I, I liken it to food, I, the, the analogy of food, you know, there's a lot of artificial flavours out there in, in uh, this time, but sometimes you just need a good, hearty ball up. Yeah, and, uh, I'm looking forward to you guys performing. Hey, Coco, tell me what this song is all about. What is it? Is, we it, is, this, you, is this you on here on the cover too, Coco? Yes. Okay, and what's the song? What's the song about? Shine. Shine? Yeah. What does it mean? What are you? Who's, who's it, for? it for? Um, the kids. Oh, what do you sing album? This song. It's for all the kids in the world. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, beautiful. And we're looking forward to hearing you guys perform very, very soon yeah, because you. it's going to be a real treat. Well, the Modern Māori Quartet's single Shine is out tomorrow and their album is going to be released on September the 15th, so make sure you go get a copy. And to keep up with the boys, check out their website. My little darling, you are the greatest thing that's ever happened to me, baby. So go out in the world. Show the world your love, my girl. Well, 